Hello and welcome to Royce Park. This is Bardwaj, and what you see here is those Kiwis VST 300. This is a maxi scooter from Kiwi, and it is powered by a single cylinder engine. I shall come back to the specs at later in the video, but let me show how the scooter, the maxi scooter, looks. Uh, definitely, this is a competition for the Aerox 155. However, let me get to the specs a little later you what you can see is a large windscreen right here such as the case in all the maxi scooter and what you spot here are carbon fiber type elements on the headlamp and here what you can spot is dual pod led headlamps right here and that is the drls at the top what you can see right here that's the keyway uh, symbol and the, those are the indicators now i'm guessing this are halogen indicators and not led uh, so what you see here is a blue color now this is available in two more colors that's the purple and the white what you see here so let me go to the wide angle a little bit so that i can go closer to the scooter uh, the keyway branding right here let me show the scooter in the side profile from that side so that you can figure out how the scooter looks so that's how the scooter looks and uh, that is how the scooter is um, side on the side this part looks massive uh, absolutely and what you see here is a foot peg you can place the foot right here or also right here if you're riding with riding boots i would suggest this side because this can feel a little cramped um, that's the keyway branding right there and what you see here is the carbon fiber branding right here and the instrument cluster coming to the instrument cluster you can spot a analog semi digital unit analog for the speedo analog for the tachometer yes it gets a tachometer analog tachometer absolutely brilliant uh, i've never seen a scooter get an analog tachometer and this is a digital display which will give a ton of information to the rider including trip distance to fuel efficiency uh, distance to empty fuel efficiency and all that what you see here is a slot uh the multiple key switch that you get on the scooter and these are the buttons for the seat and the fuel to raise the seat and the fuel and what you can spot is the uh, usb uh, slot right here to charge your devices that's where the fuel tank is stored and there is another cubby hole to store your phone here as well while you're charging with the usb slot right here coming to the seat it absolutely looks massive uh for the pillion and also for the rider uh, let us know what are your thoughts uh, uh, definitely the rider can sit very comfortably and also the pillion as well and can go for longer distances coming to the side uh, rear profile here is the LED tail lamp and the indicators are integrated into it uh, there is no indicators apart from that it's a combination lamp and here is the suspension the twin sock suspension which gets preload just right here and that's the exhaust very large looking exhaust for the keyway uh, vst 300 now that's the vst 300 badging right there as well let me zoom in a little bit so uh that is the maxi scooter again this is a just a walk around and this uh, these are the grab rails very interesting bit and there is some carbon fiber bit right there as well to give enhance the looks of the scooter uh coming to the specs of the scooter so this as i mentioned earlier is powered by a single cylinder liquid cooled uh, four valve engine right here i'm unable to get an angle uh, so 18.1 horsepower is what this engine produces and 22 newton meters of torque uh, is what uh, this engine produces 12 liter fuel tank uh, 136 mm is the ground clearance uh, it gets a dual channel abs 240 mm disc at the front 220 mm disc at the rear 13 inch wheels 110 section tire at the front and 130 section tire at the rear what do you think about the kiwi vst 300 maxi scooter will it be the rival for the aerox 155 letters in the comments below like and share this video and do subscribe to rice park if you haven't done it already and i shall see you in the next auto expo 2023 video